I'm going to throw it out there, people. The question is, is Kirk Cousins a Hall of Famer? Is Kirk Cousins a Hall of Famer? The answer is no for a lot of people. Probably everybody. Um, but this is why I bring this up, and this is where this came from. When you look at the average Hall of Fame QB currently, and I do know it wasn't a passing lead back then, but the average QB in the Hall of Fame right now is right around 40 thousand yards that's the average of all the i think it's 26 quarterbacks in the hall of fame right now well there's more but then some are considered like running back quarterbacks because of the era they played in um so they have them in like the halfback quarterback uh uh realm where maybe they were taking the snap and they just were running so they call them a running back halfback and that's the hall of fame i, I forgot how many of those there are, but i know there's 26 true qbs that they consider when they're using this stat average forty thousand yards kirk cousins is going to pass that this year. So I'm not saying 40,000 is a threshold because you also have a lot of other guys, Vinny Testaverde and so on and so forth, that are above that threshold that are not. But when you're talking about 50,000 yards, 50, here's the names, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, Johnny Unitas, Joe Montana, Drew Brees, John Elway, Dan Marino, uh, Fran Tarkenton, um, Steve Young. Those are the guys right now that are pushing that. And Steve Young is not one of them, but he is in that top. He's above the average line, and he's at 33,000 yards. You didn't look at uh, Fran Tarkenton, 47,000 yards. You got Dan Marino, uh, 61,000 yards. John Elway, 51,000 yards. So my question is, is Kirk Cousins a Hall of Famer if he hits 50,000 yards? And if he's not, and he does it, in a Super Bowl win. So does a Super Bowl win at 50,000 yards then throw their cousins into the uh, into the Hall of Fame? My answer is with the Super Bowl and 50,000 yards, yes. I don't care what you think of him. He's a Hall of Famer. Luke, I go to you. I, I, it's more about the Super Bowl than the yards, Ron. Until he wins the Super Bowl, it's always going to be a mute point. Right now, you got guys who put up great numbers, made it to the Super Bowl, still aren't in. Phil Sims, Boomer Esiason, et cetera. So mm, there's true. a ton, I mean a laundry list of great quarterbacks who don't even get a sniff because it's so competitive to get into Canton unless you got a Super Bowl on your resume. And every era is a little different. You got to keep that in mind. And I think what's going to make it so tough for Kirk Cousins is every generation these guys are judged by the company around you and your fellow mm -hmm. peers. And when your company over this era is guys like Mahomes, Rodgers, Russell Wilson, Tom Brady, you can go on and on. And you think to yourself, I can't imagine guys like that not being in the Hall of Fame. And no one's going to argue. I mean, Cousins isn't on that type of level with those names that I just mentioned. Not yet, anyways. Not without a Super Bowl. So I think until he wins the big one, the voters aren't going to take him seriously. Not when lined up against other big names from this era and this generation. But if all of a sudden he starts reeling off some deep playoff runs and maybe makes it to the Super Bowl once or twice, then that's all it takes for people to take him seriously again. And a lot of that, unfortunately, for the quarterback kind of depends on what team you're on. Who's your supporting cast? Look at Matthew Stafford. All those years in Detroit, all those bad teams, everyone said, yeah, he's really good, but he's not elite. And then all of a sudden he wins the Super Bowl two years ago. Now all of a sudden says, everyone says he's a Hall of Famer. That's how quickly the conversation changes when you get a ring in this league. So, unfortunately, I think a lot of it depends on, you know, Kirk and his weapons. I think for the foreseeable future, no reason he wouldn't want to stay in Minnesota. He's going to keep putting up great stats with J.J. Hawkinson and now, obviously, Jordan Addison. But is the defense and the supporting cast good enough to help him win a Super Bowl? I, I just don't know. But if he can win one before he hangs it up, the numbers, like you mentioned, the numbers – are going to be there by the time he retires to have a serious conversation about it. Easier said than done, though, to win a Super Bowl. I mean, some of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game never won a Super Bowl. Hmm. Yeah, let's ready? see what let's see oh, what happens. Sam, with, yeah, let's see what happens with Matt Ryan. I mean, the clock is going to start on Matt Ryan's eligibility before Kirk Cousins, right? Because Ryan yeah. is 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 per, probably done now. We think Ryan's done. Sixty thousand yards, no Super Bowl, almost twenty eight three. He had it. He had it in his clutches. And <laughs> I, I'm not sure that I look at Matt Ryan and I automatically think Super Bowl or a Hall of Fame quarterback, even though he's a 60,000 yard guy. I, I just know that, as Luke pointed out, there's it's going to be a crowded landscape. You're going to have the obvious ones. You're going to have Rodgers, Brady, Breeze, and I think Russell Wilson is a shoe in. Um, but if you don't win a quarter, but if you don't win a Super Bowl, you have to be a generationally good passer like Dan Marino or Fran Tarkenton, probably the two most notable non-Super Bowl winning Hall of Fame quarterbacks. Um, 
Kirk Cousins is going to need to make that run. I mean, I, I don't think you can look at a resume that never advances to an NFC championship game and uh, and consider that a Hall of Fame resume, even though the stats are going to be magnificent. Now, if he if he keeps playing till he's 40 or maybe even beyond and the stats just get so massive that you can't ignore them. Maybe he works his way into that conversation, but I think he's got to have a, a lot of longevity. He's probably got to play six, seven more years um, to have a chance if he doesn't win a Super Bowl. That would be like Phillip Rivers kind of thing. Inflated stats, mm -hmm. uh, six all-time in passing touchdowns and yardage, but never won the Super Bowl. A lot of people are on the fence. Some people said, yeah, for sure he yeah. should be in. Some people said, no, it's it's and, it's too tough of a list to get in. And look at Eli Manning. Like I, I think yeah. people assume that Manning has an inside track to be a Hall of Famer, even though his stats were not even close to a lot of these guys. He was a yeah. 500 quarterback, but he put together two runs and won two Super Bowls, and he's got a good last name. Yeah. <laughs> not the last name. What you got, Reggie? Yeah, I, I agree with that, Sam. I, I just don't know that Cousins has that. I don't know. I think wins speak for a lot, and I don't know that you look at Kirk Cousins and you say, oh, yeah, that guy is just a winner. You know, last season was good for the resume. But I look at a guy like Joe Flacco. Do you guys think Joe Flacco is a is a Hall of Fame quarterback? No, I don't. Absolutely no. not. No. Well, if you look at Joe Flacco's numbers up until this point, 61%, nearly 62% completion percentage. He's thrown 232 touchdowns, 147 interceptions. He's thrown 42,000 yards plus in his career. And he's mm. got a Super Bowl. And that run to the Super Bowl that year was Defense. pretty magical. Yeah. Defense. It, well, okay. Well, I mean, that's fine, you know. But <laughs> Flacco Ray played Lewis. out of his mind, earned some money, Edry. Edry. earned a lot of money for himself, and, and everything during that time. I, look, I, look, you look, I'm just saying. Chris McAllister. Hardball. He's got the he's got the Chris McAllister. That's the first go round, I think. Luke. You just he's got to know you're still guys. listening, Reg. You're just I might be changing names my now. tune. He's got a great record, <laughs> and his me? playoff his playoff resume is excellent. He's yeah. boring though. He's yeah. Weird. Well, some might say Kirk is boring. Kirk took his shirt off and 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 showed the world his body. He is well, getting. He's getting. That was kind of, after the game. His neck. He's gonna be butt naked next with a pineapple. <laughs> he's gonna jaw in George Kittle. Kirk Cousins gets cone. butt naked with a pine cone. Pine, pine cone. cone. Wow. Give him some respect, Luke. At least a watermelon or pineapple. Pine cone. <laughs> watermelon. What's try to say yeah. about him? <laughs> Come on, Luke. Over here. All right. Yeah. I just. I just don't. I just don't know that even a, a Super Bowl would would kind of validate that that Hall of Fame type status. I just don't know that over the life of his career, like the numbers have been fine. The numbers, you know, he's he's passed for a good amount of yards every season. You know, touchdown to interception ratio has been solid. But when I think of a Hall of Famer, I think of a guy that you say, you know what, this dude was the dude in the league for years and years and years. And, you know, when you make the comparison with Phillip Rivers, Phillip Rivers was putting up numbers. They were getting, you know, upset in the postseason, but like, he was winning a lot of games, especially in that regular season with mm -hmm. the Chargers. True. And, you know, it just didn't work out for him. You kind of say the same thing with Dan Marino. He's winning a lot of games. Didn't work out in the postseason much. But the numbers are there. I don't know about, about Kirk and you saying like, oh, he's just a winner. Like the guy just wins. I think he's been a very, very competent, above average quarterback his entire career and is he's done well for his pockets for himself but i don't know that it really moves the needle as far as the hall mm. well i mean the kirk cousins debate will go on we might three years from now have to circle back around to this very conversation and when kirk cousins at fifty thousand yards in the super bowl win we'll be saying put kirk in put kirk in in the hall of fame that is uh i i, I will agree like, if he just has a mediocre – not mediocre. This is a great career, to be honest. I mean, a lot of money made. Uh, if he has a mediocre 50 for 50, you know, 50% winning percentage, uh, you know, 45 to 48,000 yards, yeah, I don't think he gets in because he doesn't have the flash. If he had the flash or the Super Bowls, 
he would get in. But, I mean, this conversation is going to come up for a lot of guys. I mean, Clint Portis was on our show with me and Sam, and he talked about, you know, barely missing the 10,000-yard mark. Is he a Hall of Famer? Uh, that That's going to come up for a lot of guys. And, and Kirk Cousins, in my opinion, uh, it's up to grown men to vote on this and some women, some grown men and women to vote on this. I don't think Kirk Cousins ever gets in, to be honest, because people just don't like him. <laughs> People don't like Kirk Cousins. I don't know what it is. They don't trust him as a winner. Uh, they don't like him. So I don't think Kirk Cousins ever gets in. But I think Kirk Cousins, in my opinion, with that amount of uh, yards and Super Bowls, would be considered a Super Bowl – or, sorry, a Hall of Famer. That's in my book. I don't know. But I do think Justin Jefferson clearly is already – you know, he's on the trajectory. And maybe our next conversation next week is Adam Thielen, the Hall of Famer. We've got to have that. we got to have that conversation, yeah. too. Like, where does Adam Thielen fall? In our hearts. In the Hall of Fame conversation. Because, I mean, All of them. stats and numbers – you know, DeAndre Hopkins, we know Larry Fitzgerald's in for sure. Like there's, we're going to have to have these conversations because it's getting very interesting as they try to change what the hall is because they're like, well, if so-and-so's in, he has less yards, but look at his era. Look at the era. Is the passing era going to hurt a lot of these new quarterbacks and new receivers? It might. 